form greetings from TNV Academy today in this session we are going to discuss about ISO 41001 which is facility management system let me quickly tell you about the key learning out of today's session at the end of this session you will be able to understand what is ISO 41001 standard all about benefits of ISO 41001 implementation what is covered under hard facility management and soft facility management which companies can use ISO 41001 and how does ISO 41001 works so let's start our discussion and talk about what ISO 41001 standard is all about facility management is one of the fastest growing professional and operation disciplines and it needs some global consistency and that is where ISO 41001 can help ISO 41001 is an international standard for a facility management system. It provides a framework to develop, implement and maintain effective facility management across different sectors worldwide. In today's dynamic environment and facility manager face tough task on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of these problem arises from simple day-to-day -day operation while other are a result of changing technologies, company, merger and their policies and other lingering problem. ISO 41001 facility management integrates multiple disciplines in order to have an influence on the efficiency and productivity of economics, of societies, communities and organizations as well as the manner in which individuals interact with the built environment. FM affects the health, well-being and quality of life of much of the world's societies and population through the service it manage and deliver. Thus, ISO 41001 is an organizational function which integrates people, place and process within the built environment with the purpose of improving the quality of life of people and the productivity of the core business. ISO 41001-2018 was developed for organizational that corporate or run the facilities management system which have the option of introducing compliance with the new standard into their business. The standard was developed to further acknowledge the rapid growth and increased complexity of the facilities management market. It is not sector specific and is intended to be applicable to all organizations or parts of organizations whether public or private sector regardless of the type, size and nature of the organization or geographical location. ISO 41001-2018 should be implemented so that an organization can demonstrate the effective and efficient delivery of its facilities management services can consistently meet the needs of interested parties and clients, can plan to sustainable in a globally competitive environment. ISO 41001-2018 Facility Management Systems requirements provides guidance for the effective and efficient delivery of facility management services in a sustainable manner. Let us now move forward and discuss about the benefits of ISO 41001 standard. Few of the benefits of ISO 41001 standard are the standard aim to be sustainable in a globally competitive environment, improved workforce productivity, safety and health and well-being, improved communication of requirements and methodology among and between public and private sector organizations, improved efficiencies and effectiveness thus improving cost benefits to organization, improved service consistency, Providing a common platform for all types of organization. Now let us discuss what is covered under hard facility management and soft facility management. As per ISO 41001-2018, the scope of hard facility management covers. Hard facility management covers the entire space and infrastructure. This refers to the physical built environment with focus on work, space and building infrastructure such as planning, design, workplace, construction, lease, occupancy, maintenance and furniture. Hard facility management relates to the physical part of the building and cannot be removed. These are the essential and ensure the safety and well-being of staff. Majority of hard services and required by law and include provisions such as heating, lighting, pumping, 
फायर सेफ्टी सिस्टम एयर कंडीशनरिंग प्रिवेंटिंग बिल्डिंग मेंटेनेंस और बिल्डिंग इंप्रूवमेंट एंड इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल मेंटेनेंस एज पर आई एस ओ फोर वन जीरो जीरो वन टू थाउजेंड एटीन दी स्कोप ऑफ सॉफ्ट फैसिलिटी मैनेजमेंट कवर्स सॉफ्ट फैसिलिटी मैनेजमेंट कवर्स द पीपल एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इज रिलेटेड टू वर्क साइकोलॉजिकली एंड ऑक्यूपेशनली फिजिकोलॉजिकली सच एज कैटरिंग क्लीनिंग इंफॉर्मेशन कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स अकाउंटिंग मार्केटिंग हॉस्पिटैलिटी सॉफ्ट फैसिलिटी मैनेजमेंट और सर्विसेज डेट आर डायरेक्टली यूज बाई दिस स्टाफ एंड कैन मेक द वर्क प्लेस मोर सेफ और डिलाइटफुल दे आर यूजली नॉट कंपल्सरी एंड कैन बी रिमूव और एडिड एट एनी टाइम अ फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सॉफ्ट सर्विस आर बिल्डिंग सिक्योरिटी क्लीनिंग एस्थेटिक डेकोर और लैंडस्केपिंग एसेट्रा मेल मैनेजमेंट कैटरिंग ऑफिस मूवीज रीएलोकेशन ऑफिस इक्विटी डेकोरम लेट एस नाउ डिस्कस विच कंपनी कैन यूज आई एस ओ फोर वन जीरो जीरो वन स्टैंडर्ड आई एस ओ फोर वन जीरो जीरो वन कैन बी यूज बाई कंपनीज इन एनी सेक्टर इंक्लूडिंग फैक्ट्रीज होटल इंडस्ट्री रिटेल टेक्निकल असिस्टेंट एंड अदर डेट आर यूजिंग अ सी एम एम एस द ओनली रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू हैव एन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टू मैनेज बट एव अब ऑल इट इज रिकमेंडेड फॉर कंपनीज दैट वॉन्ट to follow efficiencies and efficient fm techniques that support the sustainable growth of the organization to meet expectation of employees partner and third party to be sustainable in a globally competitive environment and finally let us discuss how iso 41001 standard works the great starting point of iso 41001 is the company's goals which must be realized in each of the internal processes this is followed by an assessment phase which allow for ongoing improvement or in other word an increasing approximation of working methodologies to the company's goals iso 41001 addresses all these phases but as the name itself indicate it focuses on management systems and how to use them which means it focuses especially on the support phase which is fm includes human technologically and financial resources skills and knowledge to be acquired communication and organized internal documents so we can say that iso 41001 structure facility management through good organizational management practices properly coordinated and integrated which are always evaluated with the company's global goal in mind we have now come to the conclusion of this session in case you have any queries regarding the content which we discussed today please put them forward and we will be definitely answering them till we meet next it best wishes from tnv academy